What's up guys? My name is Nathan and today I just want to show you guys uh, basically why you can't connect your HyperX Quadcast to the HyperX Quadcast software, right? So I think the easiest way to explain it would be to kind of show you what's going on with the software so you understand why you won't be able to connect your HyperX Quadcast to the software. Now, I'm going to just, spoiler alert, let you know you can't connect the original HyperX Quadcast to the software. That's just the bottom line right there. The HyperX Quadcast S, you should be able to connect. And um, and basically the reasoning behind that, the software wasn't made for the original. Now, I'll go ahead and open it up for you guys and I'll show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and open up the software right here. HyperX Quadcast. You go to the main site. Just go down to download. This is going to take me to the Microsoft Store. I'm going to open that up. Launch. I already have it downloaded, so it's going to be launched. Microphone is connected. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now, it should automatically connect if you have the HyperX Quadcast S. If it's not connecting, just make sure to unplug, replug it in. Uh, make sure everything's updated on your computer, and if it's still not doing it, maybe just turn your computer off, turn it back on, and try If, if nothing else works, uh, definitely try and get in contact with the provider, because you might actually end up <laughs> just having bad hardware. Um, but let me go ahead and show you what's going on here. So with the HyperX Quadcast S, we have the audio. Now, as you can see, there's there's only one thing we can actually do. I'll even show you. Like, I can't click the mic monitoring. I can't turn it off or on. Can't turn this off or on. I can't even click on these and change these. All this stuff here is, I don't know, because we are in a beta, right? So let me show you this. We're still in the beta. This is HyperX Ingenuity Beta. Um, so I don't know if they're still working on certain things or what's going on, but... None of this stuff I can I can even touch. The only thing I can do is mute and unmute myself or change the volume of the mic level, as you can hear. Now, that's just for audio, so there's really nothing you can do. And I'll show you this as well. This is both for the HyperX Quadcast, the original and the S. There's a knob here that lets you change the polar pattern, which are these things right here. So this is an actual hardware thing going on, is where you actually go to it and you click on the different set you, you twist it to the different settings um, and then you can change the gain which is which is this little knob here you can hear it kind of maybe going in and out um, I keep it on on kind of a lower setting but that's what that does now all this since we can't even touch it anyway, there's no point in them even having this audio here. Because the mic volume, I can, you know, I can do that on, I use Discord for a lot of my calls or a lot of whatever, I'm, whoever I'm talking to. I'm playing games, I'm talking to someone on Discord. I can change the output and input on the, on Discord itself. I don't need to mess with this. If it's at 100%, we're fine. Mute, same thing. I can mute it. There's a button on the bottom lets you mute it. It's whatever. This is all hardware stuff. Polar patterns, same thing. It's on there. So... Same thing with the original quadcast. It has all that on the hard, the actual hardware, not the software. Um, the only thing that this is for here, the only thing that I've found use for is the lights. And as you can see, I already have it set up to different lighting. Uh, purple and, and orange. See, orange and purple, whatever. Um, and I've changed, some, I've changed some settings. You can see it kind of pulsating in and out at different rates. So this, this software is really the only use I found for it was for the lights. That is it. There's nothing else that, that there's a point to even having the software on. Um, which brings you back to the HyperX Quadcast. Why can't I connect my HyperX Quadcast? Well, even if you could connect your HyperX Quadcast, the original one, there'd be no point. Because that one comes in a solid red color. It has red fabric around it, and then it comes with a red light inside. So when you light it up, it just it gives off this perfect, this just like perfect red pitch. If we change this to solid, you can see it's red. And then you get this. This is like a orangish, yellowish. It's not as good as the original HyperX Quadcast, which comes in like this just beautiful, solid, solid red. But it does give you the color customizable options, right? 
The original doesn't give you that. So there's no point in even having this software. So like I'm saying, like even if you had the software and you could connect, you wouldn't be able to use it for anything. Like at all. Like there's no point in having it, but you can't. Unfortunately, you cannot connect the original HyperX webcast. It's just there's there's no reason to. They didn't they didn't provide software for the hardware that they made for it. It's just impossible. So that's the answer. That's the long answer. Like I said, I wanted to give you a split at the beginning so you didn't have to watch all this. But if it helped, I do have other videos I'll be posting to try and uh, help out with other things. I'm going to be going through a little tutorial on this HyperX Quadcast to show you the lighting. This is going to be for the S. Um, but yeah, as far as the original goes, it's just it's a no-go. It's a no-go. So you guys have a good day or night. And I'll see you next video.